Hello, everyone, and welcome to VMBlog's coverage of the KubeCon CloudNativeCon 2022 event taking place in Detroit. And we're happy to be joined today by Tom Layden, the VP of Marketing at Kasten by Veeam. Thanks for joining us today, Tom. Thank you for having me, guys. To, uh, to start things off, I guess, why don't you just give us a quick overview of the company? All right. So uh, Kasten by Veeam is the uh, number one Kubernetes backup uh, company. Uh, we provide a Kubernetes native backup solution uh, for this fast growing market. Uh, the use cases for our solution, obviously, uh, backup and restore, but also disaster recovery and uh, application mobility. Um, the reason why we have those extra use cases and which makes us a little bit bigger than just uh, backup, which already is uh, incredibly important, is as we are a Kubernetes native backup solution, what happens with our technology is we will discover folks, um, Kubernetes applications, uh, all of the components that make uh, that, that application, that workload. Um, and once we've identified this full solution, people can simply just back up the solution to be able to restore it, but they can also put it on a, a different infrastructure to have it for disaster recovery uh, purposes, or they can move it to different infrastructures um, for example, going from a sandbox to production or from one cloud to another cloud uh, where they're running their Kubernetes. And how would you say that you fit into the uh, Kubernetes cloud native ecosystem? Well, the ecosystem is extremely important for us. Uh, Kubernetes is... Um, for folks to shift to Kubernetes is, is not a simple shift. It's not like back in the days when folks were shifting from physical servers to virtual servers, which was essentially just, it was a small step, let's say. Uh, the shift to Kubernetes is the shift to using uh, containers. It's the shift to using um, DevOps um, uh, practices. And uh, that means that applications are designed uh, and developed in a completely different way. Applications are designed uh, using a lot of different technologies that are all put together. So um, if you provide a technology uh, in, for this uh, ecosystem, it's very important that your technology um, works with all of those other uh, technologies in that ecosystem. So uh, if you take a look at our uh, partners page uh, on custom.io, you will see that we have uh, a lot of partnerships with the different uh, Kubernetes distributions, but also, for example, with uh, databases that are common, uh, commonly used um, by our customers and other technologies. Now, Tom, for an attendee of a, of a KubeCon event like this, what specific problems does your company solve for them? Or, you know, are there any specific use cases? Yeah, so uh, as mentioned, uh, the core use case of uh, Kasten K10 is uh, Kubernetes backup, uh, but uh, we are extending that, right? So the, the Kubernetes backup, obviously the most simple. Once you start looking at uh, multiple stacks and if you make a copy of your uh, your backup and you move it to, to a different uh, infrastructure off-premise, for example, uh, you start talking about disaster recovery. So we cover that as well. If you want to protect... Um, um, your workload against a full site going down and be able to to re, uh, reboot on a different site that's disaster recovery. And then a third one uh, would be uh, application mobility, where we enable folks to move an entire um, Kubernetes workload from on-premise to cloud or one cloud to another or from cloud back to uh, on-premise. Um, the the combination of these use cases, we also like to refer to as a full Kubernetes data management or cloud native data management. So what would you say makes your offerings unique and differentiated in the market? So uh, obviously we're not the only uh, backup solution in the market. Um, customers sometimes use uh, just Kubernetes, uh, but that's obviously not providing them a full protection. There is a few open source uh, solutions or customers uh, might be using legacy uh, backup solutions. Uh, neither of these will fully protect them. What makes us uh, fully unique is that our solution was built for Kubernetes and using Kubernetes. So we're the only backup solution um, that can be called Kubernetes native. And uh, it fully understands how Kubernetes applications work, how they are built. And as such, we are the only ones who give like 
complete uh, end-to-end Kubernetes um, and data protection, uh, let's say. One um, parallel that I like to make is when Veeam, our parent company, um, was founded uh, back in the days when VMs became um, popular to be used. Um, they had that vision, right? Uh, Veeam had a vision like, okay, if folks want to back up VMs in an efficient and, and effective way, they need a different solution and they built that solution. The founders of Kasten had that same vision for Kubernetes. They, they saw, okay, Kubernetes is cool. A lot of people are going to move to Kubernetes. Um, but none of the existing technologies are really going to fully protect them. So let's build a solution that is fully Kubernetes native, understands the full workload, uh, and gives them the proper protection that they will uh, that they will need once they build enterprise applications uh, leveraging this technology. So a lot of vendors use uh, an event like KubeCon to announce new products or new features. Is Kasten making any such announcements this year? Yes, absolutely. We um, we tend to always announce the next version of our product at KubeCon because it's the, the, the flagship event uh, for this industry. Uh, at KubeCon in Detroit, we will announce uh, Kasten K10 5.5 uh, with a few uh, innovations or um, improvements. Uh, one is we simplified uh, the the... Um, the use of Kubernetes and Kubernetes data protection uh, massively. Um, we uh, added autom uh, autonomous operations and uh, we added cloud native expansion. The latter uh, really refers to that ecosystem that you referred to. So the, the cloud native expansion part really talks to um, improved and added integrations with, uh, with, with third parties uh, software. And on the keynote stage at KubeCon, we're going to be hearing a lot about the big <laughs> picture. What big themes or trends does Kasten see that they're interested in heading into 2023? All right. So uh, I think in, in, in 2023, what we're going to see is um, a big ramp up of the use of Kubernetes. Uh, we've been running a few surveys and we've actually got a few, uh, a couple more that we're running to, to, to really get an idea of where we are at the market. Uh, Kubernetes has been, hot let's let, let's say for the last four to five years uh but it's still in its infancy and the reason is because the journey to kubernetes is is quite long uh, for individuals and for companies um, not well one because kubernetes in itself it takes time to learn but also because um adopting the devops methodology uh, takes time so i think a lot of folks um have been learning kubernetes and and, and devops uh, over the past couple of years and what we're going to see in 2023 is that a, a lot of organizations are ready to go into production uh, there is no i mean a lot of folks have, have been playing in sandboxes for the past couple of years. And 2023, in my point of view, is the year where we're going to see a lot more projects going into production. Um, but what we're also going to see is that even more folks are going to jump on the Kubernetes train and are going to st start learning uh, Kubernetes and how they can leverage the benefits. So we talked a little bit about uh, the keynote at KubeCon, and we saw Kasten actually has a keynote at the uh, at the show as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about what it is you're going to be talking about there? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we have an amazing engineer. Her name is uh, Lee Tran, and uh, she will actually be digging into how Kasten is helping this Kubernetes community to, to get up to speed faster uh, on Kubernetes. As I mentioned, we expect next year, a lot of people are going to go into production, but a lot more people will will be learning uh, Kubernetes. And that is something that we've been working on for uh, over a year. Um, we will be uh, launching an updated version of our learning platform, uh, and it will be rebranded, renamed. It's called uh, Cube Campus, which is... Uh, a completely free website where people can take uh, hands-on labs to learn Kubernetes. Uh, we now have uh, 14 labs available for people. Um, and those labs really uh, go from uh, just learning to install your first Kubernetes uh, cluster to how to build a Kubernetes application uh, on the lab, how to protect it, how to implement security, um, how to uh, use uh, certain sorts of object storage for your Kubernetes clusters. So it, it, it really has a, a, a wide offering. And at the keynote, uh, we will be digging into the novelties of this uh, this new uh, or updated uh, 
uh, version of the platform and the rebrand uh, to Cube Campus. Well, it's, the Cube Campus sounds pretty interesting. Is that something that maybe we could get a, a quick demo of? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I would like to pass it to uh, Victoria. Victoria uh, is actually uh, the person who is in charge of the team building the whole Cube Campus platform. So she knows it inside out. And in her efforts designing Cube Campus, uh, she's paying a lot of, ex uh, of attention to uh, user experience, really trying to make it a very enjoyable platform for uh, because folks are going to spend many hours on the platform to actually learn uh, Kubernetes. So uh, why don't I just stop talking and let Victoria take it from here? Hello, welcome to Cube Campus, the number one Kubernetes learning community. Victoria is here. I'm a senior manager digital experience and design at Custom by Veeam. And I would like to walk you through this amazing free platform where you can easily learn Kubernetes and master your skills. It was created only a year ago, but we had huge success and built our community really quickly. Cube Campus is a free learning product that allows you to fast track your Kubernetes journey. Learn from expert instructors, earn badges, and participate in community events. You can start from self-assessment quiz and see uh, what level your skills are and receive recommendation on what course you may to begin with. Talking about courses, this is the most important part of Cube Campus. It has a big list of courses covering different topics and we relieve new courses frequently. So sign up for a newsletter to be aware of uh, new courses uh, being added to the list. You can see filters on your left side and you can adjust your search by keywords, skill level or topics. Uh, if you are interested in rookie program or pro, you can filter it here. Uh, each course consists of the theory and hands-on lab the most precious part. Uh, approximate time of course to be completed is about an hour. And to receive your badge, you need to review blog, slides and video and complete the lab. To track your progress, visit your personal profile page and you can also contact support from there if needed. We have quite fun addition on Cube Campus Wall of Fame. This is a nice way to display your success and recognition. So um, Cube Campus was created for users that enjoy learning, communication and also competition on a friendly level. So you can join our wall of fame by earning the badges and points. You can share your success on social media and don't forget to invite your friends and earn more points. Uh, in Cube Campus resources section, we have a big variety of free materials. Yes, they are all free. Ebooks, comics, white papers, videos, and webinars, and actually more. Uh, talking about instructors. Our instructors, well known experts in Kubernetes community. You can also interact with the broader Kubernetes community and get your questions answered. Just Explore this page and join open source projects here. We provide Slack, GitHub and social media channels where you can follow Cube Campus news and updates, see upcoming events, ask your questions and build your professional connections. Um, wrapping things up, for the best user experience, we designed the platform in a nice, clean way, simple and user friendly layout. One more well-appreciated feature to highlight as a bonus because we care about our fellow students, understanding that they spend days and nights working and studying on computers. So we provided dark mode. They can switch it on and off in one click. Ready to start your journey? Then register, have fun and be a part of this amazing community. Thank you. Well, that was a, a great demo and hopefully uh, we see a lot more people taking advantage of it to uh, kind of help push Kubernetes uh, uh, evolution into the, uh, into the future. Uh, Want to thank you again for taking time to talk with VM blog and being part of our KubeCon Cloud Native Con uh, event. And uh, before we let you go, is 
where can we go if uh, folks are watching this at home and they want to learn more about Casson or any of the things that you talked about today? Um, very easy. If you want to learn about Casten K10, number one Kubernetes backup, you just go to casten.io and you, you will find everything there. Uh, alternatively, if you just want to learn about Kubernetes, uh, if you're uh, still at that uh, stage, uh, you should go to uh, kubecampus.com and register and take your first lab. Great. Well, thanks again. We appreciate you taking time today. All right. Thank you.